So you want to download mods. You want to be able to make customizations to your games that otherwise could not be added. Well, lucky for you, this is the correct tutorial. This is going to be a pretty short tutorial. In a few minutes, you'll have mods downloaded onto your PC. Also, this is for fabric. And also, also, I'm not doing this for free. So please be sure to subscribe. The first step is to open a fresh Google tab. The second step is to search Java. The one you're looking for is HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.java.com, also known as Java Oracle. Click on that. You'll be presented with a page like this select Java download. Then you'll be presented with a page like this. Select agree and start free download. It'll download right down here in the bottom left corner of the screen. Once it's done, click on it and a window that has a yes or no option will appear. Make sure to click the yes option. Once you've done that, you get a window that looks like this. Select the install next or okay button until it's done installing. I'm not going to do it because I already have Java installed. The next step is to open a new Google tab and search fabric Minecraft. The one you're looking for is HTTPS colon backslash backslash fabricmc.net or also known as fabric the home of the fabric mod development tool chain you can also find this website down in the description if you're having trouble finding it click on that you'll be presented with a page like this go up to the top and select use then you'll be presented with a page like this select the download universal installer once you click on that it'll download here in the bottom left corner select keep and then click on the jar to open it once you've clicked on the jar something like this over here in the corner will open up up. Make sure to select the version of Minecraft you want to run your mods for and then after you've selected the version of Minecraft You want to run your mods for don't click on anything else Just hit install once you hit install a little window like this will pop up Just select yes and then select okay and then close out of that The next step is to open a fresh Google tab and search fabric API the one you're looking for is HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.curseforge.com also known as fabric API as always you can find all of the links to all of the websites in my tutorials in the description. Click on that. You'll be presented with a page like this. Go up to the top and select the files button. You'll be presented with a page like this. Underneath game version, find the version of Minecraft that you just installed Fabric for. I just installed it for 1.17.1, so I'm going to download 1.17.1. If you installed it for a different version, make sure to download this version here. To download it, click on the orange download button. Once you've done that, let the countdown count down, and then once it's done counting down, you'll find the download down here in the bottom left corner of the screen. Select keep, then open a new Google tab and search Curse Forge. The one you're looking for is HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.curseforge.com, also known as just Curse Forge. You can also find this link in the description. Click on that. You'll be presented with a page like this. Click on Minecraft. You'll be presented with another page like this. Click on mods. Once you've done that, make sure to hit the drop down menu and select fabric. That way you're only receiving fabric mods not forge mods and now you will have yourself an infinite browsing list of different types of fabric mods that you can download if you don't want to browse there's also a search option up here for this tutorial I will be getting an example mod and the example mod I will be using is the journey map mod once you found the mod in the browsing section or using the search bar that you want to use make sure to click on it you'll be presented with a page like this go up to the top and select files you'll be presented with another page like this scroll down and find the version of Minecraft that you're running your mod on that also fits with the version of fabric that you just downloaded. You'll find this underneath game version. I downloaded 1.17.1, so I will be downloading 1.17.1. When you want to download it, click on the orange download button. Once you do that, it'll bring you to a countdown. Let that finish counting down. Don't click on anything on the screen. And once it's done, it'll download down here on the bottom left corner of the screen. The next step, once you've downloaded that, is to open your downloads folder. To do this, you can either go down to your Windows button and select documents, or you can go down to the bottom here where there's this little file in your taskbar and click on that. Once you've opened your file explorer, go to the left and locate this PC. Click on the drop down menu and find downloads. You'll be presented with an area like this with all of your downloaded files. The most recent being near the top. Find the .jar files you just downloaded called Fabric API plus any mods you just downloaded from that CurseForge website. Select all of them and right click on them to bring up this drop down menu and select copy. Then go up to the top, type percent app data percent sent and hit enter. You'll be presented with a bunch of folders like this. Select on dot Minecraft. Then you'll be presented with all of the folders responsible for running Minecraft. Scroll down until you find a folder called mods. If you can't find it or don't see it, just simply make a folder inside the dot Minecraft folder called mods. Don't
don't give it any uppercases, name it exactly the way you see here. But only do this if you can't find it already. Open that mods folder, and inside that mods folder, right click and select paste. What you should have within the mods folder is your fabric API mod plus any other mods you downloaded. Once you've done this, you can close out of your file explorer. If you've already had your Minecraft launcher while you've been doing this, make sure to close it and reopen it to refresh the files. Once you've done that, make sure to go up to the top and select installations. Make sure you have modded checked on the top right corner and select new installation. Click on this drop down menu and find the version of fabric you just downloaded. Mine is right here. Release fabric loader. 1.17.1. Click on the version of Fabric you just downloaded and make sure to name it so you don't lose it. Fabric for 1.17.1. Once you've done that, hit the create button in the bottom right corner. Then make sure you're still in the installation tabs and scroll down until you find the installation of Fabric you just made. There it is, I found it. Fabric for 1.17.1 and right underneath it, it says Fabric Loader 1.17.1. Go to the right and select the play button. I understand and select play. Minecraft will begin to boot up. Once it's done, you'll know it worked if it says fabric modded in the bottom left corner of your game. Load up a new world. And there you go, a mini map in Minecraft. As you can see, you can see pretty much all of the entities in the world. I can zoom in using C, and if I hold tab, I can see what all of the mobs are on the mini map. However, this will not work if you do not download the fabric version of the mod. Make sure you download the fabric version because if you try and use the forge version of the mod on a fabric loader, the mod just will not work. I did make this um mistake. And also, I am going to be making other types of content that aren't tutorials. They'll be more entertainment based. So please do subscribe if you want to see those. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.